Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. In this episode, we will learn how to make our character crouch. Let's get started. Project Setup Download the animations that you will find in the description. Create a new project using the third person template. Create a new directory called Crouch. Import the animations you downloaded in the directory you just created, making sure to select these parameters. Open the character blueprint. In the event graph, assign a key to crouch. I will use left control. When the key is pressed, execute the function crouch, which is available by default in the character class. This function interacts with the character movement component and changes the state of our character to crouched. There are some properties in the component that interact with this state. The properties we will update are crouched half height, set it to 60. This value indicates the height of the capsule of the character when crouched. This is useful to allow our character to access tinier spaces when crouched. Max walk speed crouched. Set it to 250. This is the speed at which the character will move when crouched. Can crouch. By default, the character cannot crouch. To enable it, set the property can crouch to true. Last, when the left control key is released, call the onCrouch function, which ends the crouching state. This will revert the capsule height and movement speed to its regular values. Compile, save, and we're ready with the character blueprint. Now open the character animation blueprint. Create a new variable called isCrouching. This will be the flag that allow us to transition between crouching and standing. In the event graph, add a new pin to the sequence node and update the value of the variable is crouching. Set it to the value of the is crouching node available in the character movement component. Compile and then open the anim graph open the locomotion state machine and here we will add the new crouching states. To toggle between crouching and standing I will use state aliases. State aliases are an alias of all the states selected in the details panel and because of that all the transition rules that the alias has apply to the selected states. That means that instead of doing this we do this. For more information about the state aliases, I will leave a link to the official Unreal Engine documentation where you will find more details about aliases. Link in the description. From the asset browser, search for the animations you imported and drag them into the state machine. This will create two new states, crouch and crouch walk. Connect them together and replicate the transition rules between idle and walk run. From crouch, transition to crouch walk if the shield move variable is true. From crouch walk, transition to crouch if the shield move variable is not true. Now, create a new state alias and name it to crouch. Select the alias and in the details panel, Select both idle and walk run states. The transition rules we add to this alias will apply to both. Add a new transition rule from the alias to the crouch state. As the condition, check the variable is crouching is true. Next, add a new alias and name it to stand. This will be the alias that get us back from crouching to standing. Add a transition rule from to stand to idle and as the condition, check the variable is crouching is not true. 
Remember to select the to stand alias and in the details panel, select crouch and crouch walk states. Compile, save and press play. You will see that when left control is pressed, the character crouches and when it's released, the character stands up. When crouching, both the height and the speed changes. Last, if you want to see the changes in the character capsule component, go to the character blueprint, select the capsule component and uncheck the property hidden in game. This will allow you to see the changes in height. One last thing I forgot is to make the crouch walk animation to loop. Go to the crouch walk state, select the animation and check loop animation. Now the animation will loop forever when walking crouched. That's it for today's video. I hope you like it. If so, I invite you to give it a like subscribe to the channel and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently and right now I'm working on an entire course for beginners. Thank you for joining and hope to see you in the next video.